Hello everyone, welcome back to another Zelda Tears of the Kingdom tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get the full rubber armor set. So this armor set is really good once you upgrade it because you don't take lightning damage, especially when it's raining. It's very good to walk around and very convenient. The first place you have to head to is to Hyrule Field. Just south of Hyrule Field, there's this opening right here between rocks, which is close to the Tenitin Shrine. So this is the first location that we want to head to and we can head to the shrine if you have the shrine available. Once you arrive there all you have to do is walk back from the shrine and explode these breakable rocks here at the beginning and there are going to be a few enemies inside this cave all you have to do is just defeat them and go through these openings with roots on them just burn them cut them down it doesn't matter and keep going down and further inside the cave. Once you arrive here all you have to do is use a sand or climb on top of this platform. You can defeat this enemy if you want. It's not mandatory. And be careful because it shoots rock at you while you're trying to go up. Then explode this door. There's going to be another one of these enemies that hang from the ceiling. And this one is a shock enemy. And again, if you want, you can defeat it or just stun it and break the door that's right behind it. And keep going forward. And once you get in here, you'll find the first piece of the armor set, which is the rubber armor. For the second location we want to go to, it's now towards the west side of the map. So it's right here at the Horon Lagoon. And there's this island that will have an opening, a cave, so to say. And the easiest way to get there is to teleport to this shrine right here, if you already have it. The Applejack Shrine. Once you're there, all you have to do is drop down and glide towards the island which is this one to the left right here as you can see from far away there's already an opening that you can distinguish and all you have to do is drop down this opening onto the water and once you drop down be careful with the enemy hanging from the ceiling and there are going to be little islands around because the water level keeps going up and down and you might take damage from spikes but eventually you want to head this way on top of this platform right here and you'll see this wall of breakable rocks that you can climb onto and inside you'll find the rubber tights. So for the last piece of this armor set, you want to head to the Guccini Plains right on the southern part of the map. And there's no distinguishable features on the map, so you want to head towards this area right here, close to the road, and then you can go to this shrine or whatever other shrine you have around that area. Once you arrive there, go towards the marker you place on the map, and there's going to be a cave right around the cliff that I'm going to show you what you have to do. So right here you'll find this cave that is blocked off by roots so you can burn them down or cut them down. The most important thing is that now you'll have to build a raft of some sort because there's a river inside this cave that you will use to get to your final piece of the armor set. So I built this raft right here and You'll have to break a bunch of these roots and there are a bunch of enemies on the ceiling that you have to be careful and also be careful to not break your raft like I did right here. I had to rebuild it and the second time I did it I also put a flamethrower on the front of the raft because then it helped me with destroying the roots to these gateways right here. So be careful also so this doesn't happen but once you get to this part you're pretty much at the end and there you go you just got the full rubber armor set and now you're ready to destroy any shock enemies electric enemies and to go around in the rain in the thunderstorm without taking any damage i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one